Hey guys and gals, uh, today is Saturday, which means I have to do my chores. I won't show you that again, uh, but that's going to be happening in the morning. I need to actually do them this time instead of leaving them to go bye-bye. And in the evening, it's probably going to be sitting down and doing my work. I won't be going to the gym today, of course, like last week, because I can't go to the gym in uh, warm exercise gear. I do not want to overheat. And I already have enough trouble keeping pace in the gym as it is. So, yeah, that's not happening today. Okay, I'm going to sound really nerdy here. Um, so in Minecraft, you can change the language, right? You can, you, you know, it's usually set to US English. You can set it to Australian English, which is basically the same. You can set it to British English. You can set it to Polish. You can set it to... French, Spanish, Chinese, whatever. But I just found out that Mojang, who made Minecraft and who run it, added other languages in there that aren't real, including some fictitious languages. And I just learnt they put Quenya in there. Now, if you don't know what Quenya is, I don't blame you, because it's a rather obscure language. But put simply, it's the language of the elves in the Lord of the Rings. Now everything in Minecraft, except the Yoptifine thing there, is in Elvish. I know I sound like a total nerd, but that is awesome. Okay, so I've just done my accounts. I've been looking through how much I've been spending. Now, last several months or so, I've been spending way too much. I've been buying lots of things, including classic Doctor Who. Um, but looking at what I'm getting now, um, this is how much money I got left this month. Um, subtract $750, which is how much rent is for Fortnite, and you get about $130. So, um, and that's, um, that's how much I've got to survive off of between now and next time I get my allowance, right? Um, which involves, which includes one set of groceries, because I've bought the groceries for this week. Um, and I suppose any other things I need or want, which isn't really all that much. So unless I just want to save and save and save and hoard money for things, I suppose. <laughs> which, um, to be fair, I suppose I wouldn't mind doing, because there are things that I do want to do. I think I will make it easier on my, my parents. So... What I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to, hold on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just send 50, 60 dollars, about 60 dollars I think will be enough, uh, back to my parents. Um, so, you know, just to line the load off of them. Now what I mean by that is that I don't need the total 915 dollars per fortnight, right? I need most of it, but I don't need 65 dollars of it, right? So, yesterday I sent $65 back to my parents, um, and I've told uh, them to drop $65 from my allowance. So, every week, fortnight even, I'm getting $65 less, which means in the long run, that's easier on them. So, it's 12 o'clock, uh, the chores are pretty much almost done, Four of actually clean, I've done my accounts, uh, the backups are backing up, I think. I think I'm almost I'm pretty much done. There are a few things left to do. I think I need to do a little bit of a secondary vacuum. And I need to put the put new bin bags in the bins. Apart from that, I'm done. So, seeing as it is noon, I am going to put on some sandals and go down to the dining hall for lunch. <laughs> Corn chips, mm, potato chips, chicken. It's an interesting lunch, it's a big lunch, but it's my lunch. And like that, it's the end of the day. Sorry I didn't have much to put in the vlog. Um, I really did not do much today. I didn't even do any work, which is really stupid. I had tons of time. <sighs> Tomorrow, I'm gonna get myself to do work. I just, uh, doing it's not a problem. It's just getting yourself to do the work is so difficult. <sighs> uh, it's currently 6.13. But uh, I'm not having dinner, uh, I'm not making dinner, I'm not going out for dinner, I'm not going down to D-Hall. Instead, uh, my floor is having an event. 
my RA is putting on an event where everyone in every room on my floor uh, goes into one of the common rooms, in this case it's the common room on the other side of the building from here, um, to uh, sit around and chat and eat Chinese. So that's going to be dinner. Um, probably not going to show you much from it, but who knows. Uh, and that's starting at 7. So that's dinner. Looking forward to that. I don't see anyone here. Maybe I've got something wrong here. No, this is 16th of the 9th, 7.30. Oh, half an hour early. Okay. Hmm. This Facebook thing he says 7 o'clock. I don't like using Facebook, but that's what it says. So I'm half an hour early. Brilliant. I'm going to come back in half an hour. Let's try this again. It's 7.30 when I usually be doing my dishes and heading over to Jay West's common room. And this time I forgot to bring my water bottle. I'm grabbing my water bottle even. You didn't see the water bottle in the last clip, but you'd have it. Now I don't. This is completely irrelevant. Yes, you have. No, I have. You've been in several of the vlogs. No. Liar. No, ha no, have I been in a thumbnail Right, you're being silly. Got it. Yes, yes. Okay. So here is the floor event. It's basically just a bunch of people surrounding Table. Is it, is it a vlog? Yes, it's a vlog. Oh my god, can I say hi to my mom and hi to you, Robert? We love you. Hello. I'm not entirely sure she's watching. No, she watches. I would do. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. Over here is a whole bunch of Chinese food, or well, semi Chinese food, uh, that people are grabbing and eating. I've got mine here, which is just some uh, battered chicken and some rice, which I think is a little bit dry. And I know my stuff. I cooked rice before, remember? <laughs> now, I'm antisocial, Ugh. so I'm gonna take this and just head back to my room. Simple as that. See ya! See you, Robert. See ya! Okay, oh, see ya! <laughs> Good, I hope none of them mind being on YouTube. I probably could have filmed that segment better, actually. Um, I wasn't planning on filming this segment because, I don't know, I was, I was cautious. I didn't think everyone, not everyone, likes to have videos of themselves. So I wanted to, don't want to be filmed um, or be on the internet or anything, so I wasn't sure. But, but uh, Lily convinced me, so yeah, there's a little clip. Not as good as I'd like, not as professional, but uh, still good enough. I had a little bit of trouble configuring the tripod lately, so uh, I don't quite know why. I think it's been used a lot, so uh, I'm sorry for the shaky camera by the way, but it's been used a lot, so I don't know, I think it's a little bit wearing down. It's a bit of a shame seeing as it's not very old, but uh, it's alright, so long as it doesn't break. If it breaks, then me and Officeworks are going to have issues, but uh, so long as it's still in one piece, even if it's a little hard to configure, I can go with that. Okay, so, <laughs> what well, this whole thing is supposed to be about, by the way, is not the tripod, it's about trying this Chinese food. So, let's give it a try. It's a bit cold. Hmm. I'm gonna put another plate and microwave it. First thoughts, though. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm gonna heat it up. Heat it up, put it on. A small solid plate, and uh, still using this fork though, because uh, why bother dirtying another one? Um, uh, I didn't quite know what to say before, but I, I think I've found the word. It tastes kind of powdery. Um, certainly before it would heat it up, it tasted kind of powdery, so it also still tastes the powder, so I don't know. Maybe I might have to put something on it. Or I say I might have to put something on, but I don't have anything to put on it. Um, if I had some, if I had tomato paste and paprika powder, I could mix those together and and uh, put it on. Or um, I, I don't know, mix paprika powder with tomato powder, which is something my parents use. They actually funny story that my parents actually, or well, specifically my dad, my dad buys bulk buys tomatoes, chops them up, buzzes them up. No, no, sorry, he buy, bulk buys tomatoes, chops them up dries them in this amazing drying contraption over the course of a week or several months or something like that, buzzes them up in this buzzing machine we have into this powder, 
and puts it in jars and just use it in food. I think that's actually what we um, they use in paprika chicken. So part of what makes it so great. Um, now, if I had some of that, it'd be great. But and then I'd be able to mix it with paprika and put it on this. I think, uh, or like I said, just use tomato soup. Um, but I don't have anything to put on this except for tomato and barbecue sauce. And I know for a fact that neither of those work with rice. So uh, I'm just gonna have this as is. It's definitely powdery. Mm, it's all right. I think the powderiness is throwing me off. Mm, definitely need some sort of a sauce. Mm. I don't have anything. I think the best I got is salt. That's the only thing I really like with rice is my mm. Apart from that, it's all right. But the rice, however, and I said this seemed a little dry, but, uh, and I will be right. <laughs> it is rather dry, and I know, because I cooked that rice before, um, back on day seven, two weeks ago. I should really cook, cook rice again. I should do it tomorrow. Actually, no, I'm at the dining hall for dinner tomorrow, so at some point in the next week, I need to cook rice again. So yeah, dry rice, powdery chicken. Apart from that, it's great. I think we'll put salt on it though. We'll see what other condiments and things I can put on it. Okay, I've got this mad idea. I have no clue whether or not it's going to work. Okay, in this cup here, I put in some nearly boiled water and some chicken powder from Two Minute Noodles. Right, and I'm gonna pour some of it onto this. This is not going to work. It's not actually going to soak into the rice or anything. So it's not going to make them a little more normal. And it probably won't... It probably won't wash the powder off of the chicken either. I don't know if it's going to work. Actually, it might work well as a dip. Who knows? Um, we've also got the salt. Okay, so here is the liquid. I'm going to dip some chicken in here. <laughs> this is so stupid of an idea. There it goes. Keep in mind, this water is very, very hot. It's not boiled. I decided to stop it before then, but uh, <laughs> it's very hot. Hmm. Also, keep in mind that I've actually never tasted this chicken powder before because I've always had the noodles with tomato sauce. Um, I used to put the powder in the noodles and then put tomato sauce on. Of course, that doesn't do anything because the sauce drowns out any other flavours. So I've never actually tasted the chicken powder before. So, uh... I'm not sure. The powder's still there. I didn't wash it off at all. Certainly added flavour to it. Hold on. Let's try one of the ones, one of the bland ones again. Let's grab uh, this elongated thing. Yeah, actually. This is flavourless. This is actually flavourless. Apart from the powder. In fact, the powder adds texture. There's sort of two components to taste. There's flavour, which is sort of... It's sort of the ingested equivalent of smell. And there's texture, which is the ingested equivalent of touch. Um, if that makes any sense. Um, now, the powder gives it texture. A texture that's, you know, weird. It's unexpected, it's really hard to sort of get around and, you know. Um, apart from that, it's actually rather quite bland. Add the chicken, add the chicken powder water mix, sort of the, the um, dip. And actually, adds flavour. And I think without the powder, the flavour of this dip would actually be quite good. Without the powder though, yeah. That's the rice. Can't exactly dip the rice in here. I'd have to pull this over. Let me give that a try. Seeing as I like chicken powder with it anyway. Let's uh let's just pour that over. I'm doing a terrible job of pouring this over, but uh let's do that. Let's just uh sort of swirl it around a little bit, see if I can get it a little bit more what's left of the, of the, uh, I really don't know what to call it. 
It's kind of a gravy, really, isn't it? I don't know. What's the difference? What's the distinction between sauce and gravy? You know, I always growing up, I used to think it was sauce was thick, gravy was thin and watery. But I'm really not sure. Um, yeah, because rice is way too dr cooked, way too dry. I'm supposed to put in a lot more water so let it soak in and you know puff up and much tastier. But well, cook this clearly did not. Now. Give the rice a try. Chickeny rice. Chicken flavor is very strong, and the powder from the this chicken is washed off it. Hmm. Maybe with a little less chicken flavor. So if I put less in, and uh, yeah, without well, the powder, chicken rice would be rather good. So you know. It's not bad. It could be better. There's some things that could be better about it. About the whole meal. Um, and even without the... Let's actually think about it without the chicken gravy. We think about it without the chicken gravy. The rice was too dry, right? And the chicken was powdery. With the chicken uh, uh, gravy, the rice tastes better, and the chicken tastes better. The, the full amount of the chicken gravy adds a great flavor to the chicken but less of it would add a good flavor to the rice the dry rice of course um, normal rice does not need it although rice does often taste good with gravy so maybe I can give that a try at some point as well could use some work it's not bad not bad I have had worse meals like that broccoli yesterday after lunch yeah also in future I think I will actually start recording um, floor events instead of, you know, being skittish and saying, oh, these people might not want to be recording all that. I mean, it's a good thing to think about. It's a good thing to think about people's privacy and concerns and and, and, and all that. But, uh, you know, filming those, those events might be kind of fun, might be kind of cool. And, yeah. So, I think next time we have another event like this, I'll... Uh, Whip out the phone and and uh, be uh, a bit more free about it. Yeah, sounds good. Going to bed late again because uh, I stayed up a little late. I got distracted by something and uh, well, me and my friends were messing around in the group chat, so you know that happened. Um, but yeah, uh, it's not too late. It's I think it's what something past. Oh, there it is. It's uh, th half past ten, so uh, uh, if I hurry up and finish off the dishes, which are sort of partially done over there, and shower, then I can get to bed pretty quickly and get seven hours sleep or something like that. So let's give that a try. And that's the end of the vlog. It's about an hour later than it should be, but yeah. uh, I wanted a break. Uh, during editing and just to wake up a little bit, so I did that and that worked out. That whole Chinese chicken stuff, that added a lot to the vlog. A lot more than I was expecting. So, I'm actually rather glad for that. So, um, um, I do uh, like Chinese. I have liked Chinese in the past and I probably still do. Just, it wasn't all that well cooked, so uh, one day I might have it again. Um, and I'll see if I can do something better with the seasoning. Um, but, yeah, I'm probably just going to stick to dining hall food and own cooked food and pizza and fish and chips in future. That's the end of the vlog. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Please leave a like if you liked. Leave a comment if you have something to say. Subscribe if you want more. And ding that bell to be notified when I upload each and every one of these. So, without further ado, catch you guys and gals later. Also, apparently you like the salute. And also, apparently, it's not Hitler's. So that's great.